I haven't used Outbreak Perfected in a very, very long time, and in fact I never really got into the hype of the weapon back in the day, as I never really saw anything that special about it. And now that time has passed and the meta has vastly changed, I have decided to dust the weapon off and see just how good it is as part of a stasis endgame build. Surprisingly, the exotic actually works perfectly well with stasis as the freeze and slow effect allows our secret particles to get targets and damage targets much more efficiently compared to anything else. But I decided I wanted to improve the build some more and make the outbreak feel even more exotic. So I added in the chromatic fire to the mix to create a stasis Siva firefly build. With this setup, you'll be able to freeze targets easily with your stasis turrets, apply Siva damage easier, have increased kinetic damage, apply firefly and a slow effect upon triggering chromatic fire, apply a debuff and weakening effect on the targets, and also get back ability energy much faster thanks to the shard you'll be creating. If Destiny had the ability to enhance exotic weapons with even more bonuses, then this is what it would look like, and boy does it smack. So like always, if you enjoy the content and channel, then why not leave a like, a sub, and turn on your notifications for more content like this in the future, as I would really appreciate it. The subclass setup being used will focus on stasis and using the stasis tour method. The stasis turret method is simply focusing all of our stats and fragments into the turret itself and increase the effectiveness so that we can heavily rely on their usage more. So for this section, you will have a lot of room to play around and decide on what fragments are best for you since the turret as a whole can be customised however you like. Let me show you what I have first and then you can pause the video, take notes on the choices picked and consider why I've gone with this. For aspects, we have bleak watchers that allows our grenades to turn into stasis turrets. We then have Glacier Harvest where freezing a target creates stasis shards that will grant ability and mini energy back. For Fragments we then have Whisper of Durance which will extend our freeze capabilities on combatants. Whisper of Conduction where nearby stasis shards will track to you. Whispers of Fissures for increased shatter damage and Whisper of Vending for increased kinetic damage on stasis crystals or frozen combatants. Key stats are 19 Resilience, 17 Recovery and 19 Discipline. For key mods, we have firepower for a 25% portion of grenade energy given to us when charged with light, fond wisdom for a 50% intellect boost, elemental charge where collecting elemental wells will make you charge with light, high energy fire for a 20% weapon buff while charged with light, and elemental shards where any stasis shard collected will be converted into elemental wells. As shown, the setup will focus on enhancing our turrets so they can last longer and be more effective in the field but also increase our weapon damage while targets are frozen for faster kills overall. Effectively, this is a great setup for any kinetic weapons you may have and want to do huge damage on all contents. On top of that, the energy return will be fairly good so you won't need to rely on ability boosting perks to enhance this setup further, unless you don't have some of the mods as shown. This leads us now to our weapons which is really just one weapon you need to focus on the most. Outbreak Perfected is at best a simple, easy to use but very effective pulse that everyone will fall in love with. Its exotic trait is easy to activate and its effectiveness in PvP allows both new and older players to do really well with it without needing to put much sweat into it. Now I chose this weapon as this weapon's exotic trait is quite effective at chasing and inflicting additional damage on the targets, both alive and dead. Combining its effectiveness with stasis will allow us to net easier critical hits and produce sea of particles on a much larger scale without us needing to put a lot of effort into it. But not only that, the weapon is a great tool for DPS against bosses or ultras, and using stasis will only make the weapon effectiveness even more better on the field. I have also applied chromatic fire to the mix since it will only work with connected weapons, but when you combine everything into one, the setup actually makes Outbreak Perfected a weapon you use for ad clearing and DPS all in one. If you use the same setup that I've chosen, you will see that I can do really well against GM champions without the need of heavy weapons to be included. A testing is out as shown that the weapon is still a great choice to use if you ever decide to venture into endgame and want to find a reason to use primary weapons and only primary weapons alone. For heavy, we have two choices to pick and either ones are fine. Combination with Reconstruction is a great heavy to have as it will allow you to basically overthrow your weapon and destroy a champion or ultra without needing to reload. It also shoots fairly good, has good damage and a pretty large magazine to rely on. 
We then have Quilliam's Terminus, which is similar to Commoration, except that it is a high impact weapon and will be firing slower but inflicting higher damage. I will say that if you can get the correct mag size for perks for Quilliams and then use your Obstinate Trait for it, you can get around 80 to 101 magazine and then add on the additional damage perks and the weapon can be truly scary against anything you face. Both weapons at the end of the day are a good choice to pick and if you have neither then you can always use what you've got instead. Now within your stats you want to focus on resilience, recovery, discipline and also strength but only if you have the energy to do so. A lot of the builds are going to heavily focus on grenades as we want that tourist uptime for longer. Going for a max of 100 would be ideal as it would mean that you won't need to focus on using additional perks on weapons to get them back faster, although the choice is up to you. If you can't reach 100 or 90 or even 80, which I know not a lot of players have the means to do so, then the best choice to go with after is to have a secondary weapon with demolitionists that is both reliable and strong and then add on the bomber and distribution and firepower times 2 mod if possible. If no firepower mod then try and make as much elemental worlds as possible as these can give you a huge boost of energy as well. Resilience is similar to discipline but less requirements are needed here. Having at 70 to 100 ranges will give you a decent amount of damage reduction in the me run and if you wish for more damage reduction in the process you could add on the Whispers of Chains or Whispers of Rhyming Fragments for additional benefits if there are fragments you don't like. At the same time, your recovery can stay around the 60 to 70 ranges as it will be used here and there. And lastly, your strength can stay at around 30 to 50 ranges, it's simply because the shards you'll be collecting will be providing energy back to this one stat here, so going any further will be wasted unless you have other plans. Left over wise, we have Kinetic Cypher mod which allows us to create orbs of power via kinetic weapons. Better already, while your health immediately regenerates the moment you collect an orb of power. Machine Gun Scavenger mod for increased machine gun reserves. And Sunderland Glare, where hitting a target at a long distance will weaken them. And now we have covered the mods, weapons and perks we are using. Here is everything compiled into one. For Head we have Mind of Resilience, Kinetic Cypher on the Firepower mod. Army of Resilience and Thunder Wisdom mod, Chest with Resilience, Thermal Shot Plating, Concussive Dampener and Elemental Charge mod, Leg with Resilience, Machine Gun Scavenger, Battle Already and High Energy Fire mod, Bond with Minor Intellect, Sunder and Glare and Elemental Shards mod. Outbreak Perfected is one of these exotics that with or without a catalyst, it can work anywhere and be really good at clearing areas without the need of secondaries or heavies. The point of today's build is to build into the sequence effects of Outbreak via Stasis and use the Stasis Freeze effects to stun targets, inflict high damage after their means shattered and then spread Seer Particles onto other targets as a finisher. This at its core is plain and simple to achieve and anyone of any level can use this for general endgame content. But at the same time I also wanted to incorporate the use of Chromatic Fire so that we can inflict even more damage onto anyone nearby a Stasis target but also apply slow to them. You see, Chromatic Fire got updated quite a while back with Stasis so that once you get a kill with it, it will trigger a slow effect onto anyone nearby it. The effect is small but noticeable on impact and although it's not that useful in PvP, its effect in PvE could offer something more appealing to the general masses. So with the major explosion from Chromatic Fire and the freeze effect from Stasis turrets with increased damage from two different sources, it makes your outbreak a very lethal and outright terrifying primary result to use wherever you go. Surprisingly, I did find this build very useful in GMs as the stasis turrets are generally strong and don't require a lot to build into them. But also, outbreak as a primary is pretty strong against the very tanky enemies you will face since there's exotic effects and catalysts can spawn Seaver. You got to remember, at one point outbreak was a go-to weapon you use with DPS because of how strong its effects was and although we don't see a lot of it now, it still holds up in certain content. So I do recommend you give this build a try if you want to mix things up and try a different take on utilising Stasis turrets, Chromatic Fire and Outbreak Perfected in one. It makes this small exotic a workhorse in all content you choose to use it in and honestly, it's really good. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub and also turn on your notifications so you never miss out on future content. Also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny news and content. But once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.